Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Fallout 76 video on the channel. It has been a busy day. I did a four hour live stream earlier. We've done the top five comps that came out earlier on. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. And now we've got a bunch of news that just came out relating to the new Spooky Scorched event coming to Fallout 76. Now, I've got a few things to go over. I'll be covering all the rewards. I'll be covering what type of enemies we're going to be coming up against. And also a few little bits and bobs that you'll probably need to know. But first, we're going to have a quick read over the uh, actual patch notes themselves. So not patch notes, but the news article. Um, and basically in here, we have a few little bits and bobs dotted around. So Halloween is almost here. Our next update for Fallout 76 is to arrive Tuesday, October 19th. So only four days away from now on Tuesday when the Atomic Shop update comes out and stuff as well. And with it, Halloween will descend on Appalachia-like costume dwellers on a bowl full of candy. Quite literally, hungry, treat, uh, <laughs> hungry trick or treaters will haunt your doorstep in search of some sweets and challenge rewards. Even the Scorch that prowl the wasteland will be dressing up in their most hair-raising attire and dropping special treats. So grab your favourite costume and read on to catch all of the details so that you can join in with the fun before the spine-tingling events expire on November the 2nd. <clears throat> so we've got like a two-week event going on here with this new event. And it is kind of like this traditional event, but it's going to be slightly different. There's going to be a few changes. And there's some exciting rewards that's coming into the game, which we haven't seen for like two years now. So going down, we've got Take Down the Spooky Scorched. And it says... Though the Scorched have lost much of what was once made them humans, it seems they have managed to retain some semblance of fondness for certain holidays. In fact, as Halloween approaches, they're wriggling into creepy costumes and have been, or have even begun, collecting sweet treats they have stumbled upon. From October 19th to November the 2nd, you'll occasionally run into these spooky Scorched during your adventures in Appalachia. Each one will spawn as a legendary, and taking them down will net you a legendary item and a piece of mystery candy. You'll also receive a spooky treat bag, which when you open, you will receive rewards like consumables, ammo, and even a chance at some Halloween-themed loot. So, the spooky treat bag will just be like a more mine appeal type of thing. Same as what we always see, where you can get a chance to get like rare plans, rare outfits, stuff like that. Um, but on top of this, we're also going to be getting this mystery candy. All right, slight distraction there, but we are back. So, right, you probably didn't say that because I edited it out, but I got me dad came to the door, so I had to sort that out. Anyways, going back to the news, we've got, if you've got a sweet tooth, the mystery candy you'll get from the spooky scorched may seem enticing in the moment, especially because eating it will grant you with one of five random special buffs, which I'll cover shortly. Um, however, you may want to bring a few pieces back to your camp for any visitors who stop by during the next couple of weeks. Now, I was confused by this. Put fluff on my finger. Um, I was confused by this. I was thinking, hang on, do you put this down and maybe a legendary Scorched comes to your camp? No, that isn't the case. What it is, is going to be there's some daily and weekly, basically, challenges that's going to be coming out, getting people to come to your camps. So you've got to, it's probably going to be something like, go collect candy from someone's camp. That's probably what it's going to be. And you'll get, obviously, score and bits and bobs for it. Then, uh, as we see here, this is, I think, going into more details, this bit here. So, trick or treat. Before the bombs fell, there was nothing quite like dressing up as your favourite comic book hero, storybook princess, or gruesome monster on Halloween. And going door to door with your closest friends on the hunt for some, some delicious sweets, this year you can recapture some of that magic by raiding your wardrobe for a costume and trick or treating your way around Appalachia. Starting October 19th, everyone will be able to claim a free spooky candy ball, which is going to annoy a couple of people. See this picture here? I'm guessing that's it. Obviously, I actually bought a bundle the other day from the Atomic Shop that's came in the last couple of weeks, where you got one of them in the bundle, and now they're giving one for free. So, you know, good old Bethesda. <laughs> Reskin it and give it away for free, as they do. Never mind. Until November the 2nd, all dwellers will receive daily challenges to trick or treat at other people's camps, as well as daily and weekly challenges to hand out treats from their spooky candy bowl. So it's going to be really reliant on getting you to go to other people's camps and getting other people to go to your camps. So you might need to work with friends if you get unlucky and people don't visit your camp. And um, maybe put a few things in your vendors just to try and boost that enticement for people to come to your specific camp. 
Um, but going on says each of these daily challenges that you complete will grant you one of several possible rewards. So this way it gets quite exciting, like a consumable item, per card pack, lunch box, repair kit, or even some score. So if you're still a little bit behind on the score, we have got plenty of time left. Like we've got like two months pretty much to finish this season. It's quite a long season. But if you're struggling, you do get some extra score for this type of thing, or you've got a chance to get some anyways. Additionally, weekly challenges to give candy to trick or treaters can award you score rare crafting materials, which I'm hoping is going to be like vault modules or um, vault steel or whatever you call it. Or even Halloween costumes. Now, them Halloween costumes, hopefully, will be some of the rewards that I'll show you in a bit. Um, so hopefully we'll get some good stuff out of that. It says, if you manage to complete both weekly challenges, you'll also receive the new popcorn machine. So you get a new camp item as well. Very cool. Very good, Bethesda. Um, I will try and get a picture of it and put it on screen when I'm editing. But for now, I'm not entirely sure what that is, unless it's that guy with a, another one with a Brahmin that you get from your camp. Might be that one. I don't know. And it says, remember to transform your camp, blah de blah just to make your camp into a Halloween camp to scare people, basically. Um, and then, as you see down here, we've also got the Bombs Drop event coming back, because on the 23rd of October, that was when the bombs dropped in the Fallout game. That's when the world like, blew apart and everything like that. So during this time, you're going to be getting a big sale on the Atomic Shop, as well as buying atoms. So there's going to be some big discounts, as you can see. 500 atoms, 20% off. 25% of 1,000, 2,000, 35% off 4,000. So the more you buy, the cheaper you get it, which is the deal anyway. So it's going to be a good deal, realistically, if you want to buy some atoms. And then going on as well, uh, we've got double up on script, legendaries, and daily ops next weekend. So we've got a good few things getting doubled up there. Now, going on to the more exciting stuff about the new event. Let's have a look. So this is from the Fallout fandom, uh, as, as we shall call it. I'll zoom in for you so you can see it a bit better. Okay, so here we go. So in this new event, we're going to have different Scorched, all right? So you're going to have one star, two star, or three star, which is quite annoying because three stars only have a 5% chance of dropping, which is very annoying. But it is what it is, I suppose. It says, any Scorch which spawns in an exterior location, so not e interiors. So if you go inside, I don't know, say, bloody Fort Defiance or something, and there's, I don't really think there's Scorch in there, but if you get one, that's not going to happen. Um, you're not going to get one of the legendary ones, uh, which will drop these items. So you have to go to them, including events, and has a 10% chance to be a spooky Scorch, which will always spawn as a legendary enemy. All right, so one in 10 Scorch that you come across will be one of these, so it's not just, right, that makes sense. Um, going under it, Spooky Scorch may wear one of the following outfits. So you've got all these ones here. There is all of the possible chances of it happening. You get like Captain Cosmo suit, Halloween skeleton, vampire costume, the Jack Gordon, the Jack o' Lantern pantsuit, or money co mummy costume. Uh, that's the different outfits you can get there for them. They'll also be merely, and this is what they'll drop. Each time they'll drop candy, a treat bag, random scorch loot, and also random glowing loot from uh, if you're in blast zones. So then going on to the other bit, this candy, it gives you bonuses. So these are the bonuses you get. So there's five different ones. There's one called Lucky Brick, which will give you plus one luck for 10 minutes. Mystery Treat Surprise, you're blacking out. So I'm going to guess that's going to be like Nuka Shine. Uh, Sugar Rush, plus two agility for 10 minutes, minus one intelligence. Sugar Strength, plus one strength. Sugar Vision, which is plus one perception. Now, the rewards are down here as well with the little bits and bobs. So, I don't know, actually, if we... All right, this... Oh, I was going to show you another website for this, but this is all on the fandom, so I'll drop a link in the description for it. Um, so, as you can see, Uncommon Rewards, you've got all of these ones right here. So, a bunch of different stuff. You've got plan for a Sickle, Scarecrow, Meat Hook, Cultist Dagger, Cultist Blade, the White Spring Jumpsuit, which is actually quite a rare outfit, so it's quite weird that that's being thrown in there as an uncommon reward. Um, you've also got the Tattered Mole outfit, Tattered Mole head, which I never see anymore in the game. Like, that used to be quite, that used to be about a bit. Like, I used to get people giving them to me, and I never see them anymore. Then you get the Pumpkin Grenade, Passes Vestments, the Halloween Witch Costume, the Costume Skull, Skeleton, Golf Skirt, Golf Outfit, Fireman Uniform, which is a very, very exciting one, uh, because if that Hold on a minute. If that's that one, that is going to be a pretty, bloody really good drop, that is. Jesus. 
Okay, where were we? Anyways, going back at them once, you got the Civil War, you got a few bits and bobs there. They're the uncommon ones. Rare plans, we've got the Grim Reaper Vault Boy cut out. Pumpkin plans as well. So a lot of these are very rare now. A lot of these came, and basically what the crack is with this is basically... We had the Mischief Night Halloween event back in 2019. Last year we didn't have a Halloween event because Mischief Night was a broken mess. Anyways, they've now recycled all of the rewards from that event and brought them back. So people would like in the past been trading like the Jack O' Lantern outfits for like legacy weapons and stuff. Well now it's changed. This is what the crack is. We're getting all these back into the game and it's very good for all the new players and people like myself who actually missed the event. Obviously I switched to PC and I don't have a lot of the uh, plans and stuff from this event, so it's quite good in that way. Some people will be a bit upset about it, but it is what it is. These are all the different pumpkin racks you can get. You can actually get like loads, like vault Tech, vault Door, vault Boy, Surprise Jack-O-Lantern, Pumpkin Rack, the Practice Jack-O-Lantern, Mobster Jack-O-Lantern. There is absolutely loads, as you can see there. I'll let you look at them yourself if you want to pause the video or anything like that. Um, and then also, as you can see here, rare costumes. You get the Jack-O-Lantern Pantsuit, 25% drop rate. If you get one of these, uh, you've got pirate costume as well, like lots of decent stuff in there. Like, these are all really, really rare items, these four there. So very good that they're getting added back in, in my opinion. Then going down, we've got the rare costumes, which is what I just clicked on, I think. Yes. Okay, they're in two places. That makes no sense. Um, <laughs> going on to the next bit, you got ammo, which you get 100% chance to get ammo. Get random aid, random brew, random candy, and also a random grenade. So you've got some pretty decent stuff. You've got all these rare outfits that you can get. I'll put them on show there, just there. These ones are the main ones you want to be going after in this new event. Also, I don't know. Like as far as I'm aware, all I've been told is, well, all I've heard from uh, supposedly it's been data mined. Inov did a video on it a while back, and I've looked on. Um, Reddit and stuff and all them really leak back to this type of thing, saying it's only going to be Mischief Knight um, rewards that we're going to be getting. We're not going to get Nuclear Winter stuff and stuff, which doesn't make 100% sense because we're meant to be getting Nuclear Winter stuff mixed in with the new seasonal events. That's what they said. So maybe it's going to be a little few things added on top, but at the moment this is how it all stands. We're just going to be getting this stuff here. Which, either way, is a good thing. It's all Halloween themed, and it's stuff that 99% of players haven't got. Like, how many people do you know were all these outfits? Not that many. Be realistic. And as some people would be like, oh, well, me and my friends have played since the beta, and we've got everything. But not everyone has, okay? So, yeah, there's that. But, yeah, that's all the exciting stuff, guys. All the rewards there. These are the what the candy does. Make sure to keep hold of them for the weeklies and the dailies. And that's a new event. I hope you're all looking forward to it. Let me know what you think down in the description. I feel like they've, they've been a little bit lazy. They could have thrown in some new stuff. But the stuff that they've thrown into the game is pretty much, like, it's that rare anyways. It's kind of new, even though it's not. I know what you're going to say. But still, it's exciting stuff getting added in, adding back into the game. And they should have really put some new stuff in as well, just for the fun of it. Because why the hell not? There's plenty of stuff in there that they've made over the years that they could have thrown in as well. But the pumpkin machine is also getting added in. A uh, popcorn machine. But there you go. That's it, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button. And guys, we are on the way to 20,000 subscribers. So please, do me a favour. Subscribe to the channel. That'd be amazing. And I'll keep you all up to date with everything happening with Fallout 76. And I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.